Shopaholics and welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing my top five tips to avoid being scammed when shopping with small businesses on Instagram. So, I have my phone with me because all of my notes are here. Um, I don't want to get sidetracked and I don't want the video to be too lengthy, so please forgive me and my phone, but these are my notes. So, just a small disclaimer before I get started. Um, all of these tips are based on my personal experiences. My personal opinion, everything from starting my business and being scammed up into doing business to business and being scammed. And I'm trying to help avoid that for you guys as well as my fellow entrepreneurs. The goal is to help everybody get better. We are approaching Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and the holiday shopping season. All the red flags are in the back of your mind before making a purchase. That is the purpose of today's video. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So tip number one, try to shop with businesses that have a legitimate website. A lot of small business owners prefer for you to DM them. However, based on my personal experiences, I choose to shop with people that have a legitimate website. So this helps to make my shopping experience better because it's the ease of checkout for me. When you're shopping with someone via DM, it's a lot of back and forth. And to avoid all of that, you can just go to their website, pay, put your information in, check out. It makes it that much easier. And another reason I'm all for websites is because I need to know that I can follow up on my tracking. I need to know that customer service is there if I receive the products and anything is wrong. And it's just the best solution for me personally. Tip number two, if you do have to DM the order, try to make sure that the business owner sends you an invoice via PayPal. One, it's more professional and two, it helps to keep a paper trail just in case things go sideways. Number three is to not rush to place an order with people that DM you. I'll get more into this one in my story time, but just know that you don't have to feel compelled to shop with someone just because they're telling you, oh, I'm having a great sale, oh, my prices, or oh, I'm a young entrepreneur and I just need support. I know we all want to do what's best you know for that person and for us but that's not always best for us sometimes that can be a scam um tip number four is to always look for secondary contact information you want to make sure that this person has a legitimate email it can be their business name at gmail.com that's fine but you want to make sure that that's somewhere um either on their instagram page and bio you want to be able to click the email link on there or if they have a legitimate website you want to make sure that there's a contact page where you can fill in something and it's going to an email. This is just for follow-up purposes. You want to be able to follow up on your order. Um, and tip number five is the last tip. If something looks too good to be true, nine times out of ten it probably is. You might think that those designer bags, um, designer apparel, or those $25 Ugg boots or Jordans are a really great deal. $25 Uggs. Boy, if you don't... Not a great deal. So basically, what happens is you place your order via DM for these $25 Uggs. And you get a, oh my God, thank you so much for shopping with me. But you never get a product. That person is getting a lot of profit and sending out no merchandise. So with that being said, guys, please exercise caution before placing an order with the small business. You want to make sure that you're not only protecting your coins, that you're protecting basically yourself. You just want to make sure that everything is legitimate. You don't want to place big orders for Christmas, all your loved ones, and get nothing every time. So that's enough of my tips. That's about everything. Now it's story time. So when I first started my business, 
I had a young lady reach out to me via DM telling me that she's having this really great sale, like really great deals on her page. And at the time, first slides were just like, it was just going into spring slash summer and I wanted first slides. So I ordered those and something else, I forget what it was, but I never got anything. I remember maybe a month going by and still nothing. I actually forgot about the order. So I went on to this business's page and saw a lot of like a lot of really nice things. And I'm like, hmm, I think I ordered from this person. So in great fashion, I went to her website because she did have a website to look for contact information. Because at this point I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna shoot an email just to follow up on my order. And there was no contact information. There was no follow me page, no contact, nothing. So I went back to the young lady's page on Instagram and I DM'd her like, hey, I didn't get a tracking number. Think you could provide me a tracking number? And crickets. You know what? I, I checked out using PayPal. So I went to PayPal and I filed a dispute. It took PayPal about 30-ish days to um, resolve my issue and to give me a refund. And I'm super grateful that I got the refund. I just said that I didn't get my merchandise. So with that being said, I'm going to say maybe two days later after getting my refund, this business owner reaches out to me on, out to me on Instagram. And she's like, hey, did you order first slides and whatever that other thing was? And I didn't respond. I left it on read. The second time was a business to business transaction. It was a wholesaler who had some things that I wanted to um, put on my website and share with my customers. And I spent almost $200 with this business and again, got absolutely nothing in return except it has three different business names. When I'm looking at my PayPal information, nothing matches the person that I purchased from. And this is 200 of my hard dollars. Help me. <laughs> so PayPal, in true great PayPal fashion, dug really deep into the situation and helped me get my money. Thanks, time, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'd like to invite you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thumbs up this video. And in the comments, let me know your tips, your best practices for shopping for the holidays. Um, let me know if you had a... A similar experience or if you've been scammed before follow me on Instagram at the bougie shopaholic and I'll see you next week for another video where I'll be doing a mini haul showcasing some of my boss brands on Instagram's great products and yeah till next time bye